Uh, for a long time, BHP mined only silver, lead, and zinc. But then, uh, right at the start of the First World War, they began to make the first steel in Newcastle in New South Wales. And this was not only a major event in the history of BHP, but was also one of the important events in the economic history of Australia. Steel. Today's world couldn't do without it. And the big mine at Broken Hill, very rich in the early years. By 1910, uh, the mine's not one of the most profitable mines in Australia, and the directors began to realise that the mine didn't necessarily have a great future, its great days were over. They already had iron ore mines very close to their smelter at Port Pirie. The Port Pirie smelter was using iron for its smelting process, and uh, they thought, we've got this iron ore, why don't we make steel? And they brought out the expert, David Baker, from the United States, and he said, yes, why not make steel? It looks impressive. After only about 20 minutes of blowing, refining is complete and steel has been made. David Baker decided you should really build your steel works by the coal mines and you can bring the iron ore to the coal. And they made this decision in 1912, this very brave decision, to become steel maker. In 1915, just after the war had started, the First World War, they opened the steel works in Newcastle. It's regarded as one of the red letter days in the economic history of our land uh, in the 20th century. Steel was really the essence of industrialization. You weren't a modern country unless you had an efficient steel industry. And uh, all over Australia, people rejoiced that at last we had these great steel works at Newcastle. And uh, eventually they became, by world standards, a highly efficient steel works. Uh, they needed, of course, companies to use the steel. And if an English company or an overseas company decided that it would set up an industry in Australia, BHP said, if you're going to use steel, come to Newcastle. I see. Tensile. Steel has spread through the world. Often, they became the owner of these industries, making barbed wire, steel rails for the trains, the nails, all these various things that use steel. So that gradually, Newcastle became one of the great sites of Australia, this great industrial centre in the land which previously didn't have much heavy industry. Finished products from the various mills are stacked, ready to meet the demands of the Australian automotive and engineering industries. The history of Australia is in many ways the rise of manufacturing in the first half of the 20th century and at the core of this is BHP. To meet Australia's increasingly exacting demands for steel for today.